Good evening, Ian Henderson with ABC News. It's emerged the father who beat to death his 11-year-old son at Tyab last night had a history of mental illness and family violence. The 54-year-old was on an access visit at his son's cricket club. He was shot by police after he lunged at them with a knife and later died in hospital. The boy's grieving mother said he trusted his father and loved him despite his problems. Tonight, the local community is coming together to support her and pay tribute to her son. Karen Percy reports. Luke Batty loved playing cricket, and it was at cricket training here at the Tyab Oval on the Mornington Peninsula where he died at the hands of his 54-year-old father during a weekly access visit. The boy's mother, Rosie Batty, was nearby. Screaming, get an ambulance, get an ambulance, this is bad, this is really, really bad. And for some reason, I, from what I could see, was Luke had been injured. I thought it was a, an accident. I had no reason to think it was otherwise. I thought Greg had accidentally hurt him. She wants to remember her son as the sporty, smart and fun-loving young boy who helped her celebrate her birthday on Sunday. An intervention order was in place against the father, who was mentally ill and had been homeless from time to time. When police tried to subdue him with capsicum spray, he lunged at them with a knife. He was shot and died later in hospital. Police have told Rosie Batty they believe it was a premeditated attack. He was on a path of desperate... No one loved Luke more than Craig, his father. At Tyab Oval today, flowers were laid in Luke Batty's honour. Some people knew him, others were strangers, moved to do something. It's just hard to comprehend. It's just it's beyond words for me. The flag was at half-staff at Flinders Christian Community College, where Luke Batty had just started Grade 6. The loss of any child is always devastating. So it, there's great grief around the campus today. He loved his dad and he felt pain because his dad, he knew, was struggling. After more than a decade of fear and threats, thinking she was the one in danger, Rosie Batty says she now knows family violence can happen to anyone. Karen Percy, ABC News, Melbourne.